all right we got some decent weather for the next couple days so we're gonna try to get the weed in the ground uh we're gonna start disking here yet tonight i don't know if i'm gonna push and try to get it all done we'll see how long it takes me to get that field down there um we got a slight chance of rain tonight but it sounds like it's supposed to be really light if it even makes it down they say we got an 80 percent chance but i looked at it on the radar and it it sure don't look like shit um hauled in the corn today off that little two acre piece that went better than even i thought it did um i never in a million years would have figured on it it was there was 291.84 on on dad's truck dry and 78.4 on my truck which came out to 370 and some change you divide that by two it was 185 bushel an acre off that little two acre piece i just about shit a brick when i saw that that kind of like i say that kind of came out of nowhere so hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of the good or for the ground that i got left to do that's actually worth a damn so but our rain was so spotty this this year it might have could have just been a case of that one got the right rain at the right time you never know that'd be nice to hit with a lawnmower so i'm gonna get hooked up to the disc here and we'll catch you guys down there at the field. And what the hell is that white thing out there? I wonder if it's a chicken. Sometimes the neighbor's chicken will get out there. I know it ain't here because she's in the house. And if she was out, she'd come to the sound of the tractor. Anyway, I'm going to get hooked up and we'll uh, head down there. Alrighty, we're all, I got all unfolded, although it looks like. I had that thing leveled out for the tongue on the 1800 and it's lower.
once was a farmer I worked the land Sun up to sundown But you live by the plow You die by the sand The story hits on the little done. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and run this thing to my house. It's closer. Park it there for the night. And you guys can't see shit out there anyhow. Um, but this field is a little tackier than the one at mom and dad's. Um, but that's fine. Uh, my plan is 
I can't be out here on Saturday because it's the Seventh Day Adventist retreat, and actually the new owners said they don't care. But I don't know. I'm just gonna stay out of here out of respect for what they got going on here, which doesn't bother me none. And it needs to dry out for a day anyhow. So. If any luck at all, if we miss this rain tonight, which it was supposed to be raining by now, so if it hasn't started raining by now, hopefully it just misses us all together. Um, but get mom and dad's done planted tomorrow morning. Hopefully if it doesn't rain, switch back to cutting beans. Cause there's been guys cutting around here today i haven't asked anybody what they've been seeing for moisture but they've been cutting so must be low enough to cut um and then come back over here sunday morning and get it planted and then cut more beans possibly but we'll see how all that plays out because the fields that i want to go to next to get cut are pretty well surrounded by trees so they were going to dry down a little slower but it's also really really breezy right now if you can't hear it so hopefully that blows the window or blows the rain over and dries everything out and if we don't get it due in the morning that would be pretty slick so anyhow i'm gonna get out of here because i'm hungry so that's it for this one we'll catch you guys on the next one